Hi, my name is Nick Burnham and I'm here for Motorboat and Yachting in Chichester this month looking at a used Jeannot NC11. Now when this boat launched in 2010 this was a brand new concept for Jeannot. In fact NC stands for new concept and it was the first of a new range of deck saloon boats that was designed to be really super practical. And Jeannot crammed this boat full of really neat ideas and they start literally as soon as you come into this cockpit because this half seat I'm sat on here, you can lift the bolt on the side. If you don't need as much bathing platform, cockpit instead. Now as you head inside this boat those clever ideas just keep on coming. This backrest here to the dinette for example you can lift this, tilt it forward and you've got our facing seat back out into the cockpit and you might think well that's great you're sat looking at the doors then but in actual fact this whole four section door which slides over to the starboard side to give good access up over on this side will move right across. still get through here but then that connects this perfectly straight into the cockpit. This seat here for example it faces the dinette but you can flip this right over and that now gives you a big double even triple seat right next to the helm over on the port side. Behind the helm then you have got a galley area and that's your standard sink two burner hob there's a microwave and a fridge in there as well. Now over here at the helm, one feature I particularly like is this sliding side access door. Now that opens really easily and that gives great access out onto the side deck. But beyond that it also gives a tremendous amount of ventilation because with that open and the back doors open you've got great airflow. And in fact there's a big sliding roof section above me here. That opens at the proverbial touch of a button so you can really open this whole deck saloon right out. Now in terms of engines, most of these got twin engines. They've got the Volvo Penta D3s. Uh, the early boats got the 200s and then Volvo later up the power slightly to 220 so you'll find later boats have got twin D3 220s in them. There was also a single engine option on the price list. Uh, there was a D6 330 option. I've never seen one in real life but it was on the options list so presumably there are one or two out there somewhere. So putting the galley up there on the main deck means there's plenty of space down here for cabins. There's a big master cabin up here in the front of the boat and then on the starboard side there's a guest cabin with two singles. The head is down here as well of course and that's a great size, it's big enough that they've managed to get a separate shower stall into it. But Jeannot haven't resisted fiddling down here, they've put a couple of clever details in. There is a fillet that goes across the centre of this bed which means that you can have it either longer as it is at the moment with a little bit less floor space at the foot of it or if you don't need that length you can take that fillet out, move it all forward and that gives you more space here if you don't need the length and in fact if you lift the base of this bed there's also a massive amount of storage in here and the guest cabin as well there is an infill for that so instead of two singles you can convert that easily to a double. Jean have been very clever with this boat, they've brought in a lot of new features, a lot of new ideas and what's great is that when you spend a bit of time on the boat you do realise that those features really do enhance life on board. Mm -hmm.